Welcome to Tech Tuesdays. It's me, Angel Santos, and today we're going to talk about how to get paid and deliver your product with PayPal, right? I'm going to get into the benefits of this for you. One of them, though, is that this is absolutely free. Like, do you want to know a free way to make money? and like deliver your products. You don't have to pay Kajabi, you don't have to pay ConvertKit, you don't have to pay MailChimp, you don't have to pay anybody, any service. You can do this for absolute free. Free 99, as some people used to say. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, like where does the cost come in with PayPal? Well, yes, every time you get paid, they take a small percentage, um, but that percentage is normal for payment processors, right? And you know, Again, when you think about it, so like let's just say um, you charge two hundred dollars. They, I think their percentage is maybe like two point eight, something like that, right? But they're going to keep what uh, maybe ten dollars, probably max twenty, and you've been able to collect a hundred and eighty. You didn't have to go anywhere. You didn't have to wait for like a cash app. You didn't ha like they made it easy for you to collect money, right? So. I, if you can't tell, I do support PayPal, um, using PayPal. I have not had any issues personally, okay? So why watch this training, right? Because I'm gonna give you, especially if you are still newer in your business, right? Like if you have not made your first, uh, I would say 30 to 50,000, right? If you're still, you know, making like 100 here, 100 there, 50 here, 10 there, right? Which is absolutely normal when you get started. Um, you may not want to, um, nor do you even have to like spend a lot of money on software, right? To me, like that's not actually where you want to be spending your money, not at that point. And there's also no need, right? Like I had made my first uh, 15,000 before I use like any of the fancy stuff. Like, I, yeah, I have it all now because I teach it. I set it up for people. But when I first had my one day conference and um, signed three clients from there, which brought in $15,000 into my business, right? And 2000 that day, then another 2000 then another 2000 and then they bought up and it brought in more money. Um, but I, I collected 2000 that day from the first person who signed up and I didn't even have a PayPal link ready. I literally, <laughs> this is not good. This is 2017. All I had was like a printed sheet where I had put like name, address, credit card number, CVC code. Like I do not recommend that. That is not a uh, compliant with keeping people's information safe, but I didn't, I, I had just started coaching. I was used to still corporate America or nonprofit America where they pay you by um, a check or direct deposit. So I wasn't used to billing people at that time, right? I was a newer, a good coach, but a newer coach. And so like, I had a square, <laughs> right? I had a square. And so my plan was to just let them fill it in on the form. And then I punched it into square, right? So I didn't even know about this, right? So if you are new, if you haven't made that much money in your business yet, um, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on softwares that take time to understand and set up, this is a great way. Or if you just want to run a sale or just get started really with your first program um, consultation, whatever it is that you're going to sell, this is a great way to do it. It will save you time. You don't have to try to learn how to set up a, a sales page or website. Once again, I made my first couple thousands. I didn't even have a website, right? Um, it'll help you make money, right? Because it's one thing for people to say, okay, I'm going to sign up. And then by the time you see them to collect the payment, maybe they've changed their mind or found another solution. They didn't want to wait, but you can send a PayPal link like that. You're on a conversation with someone they want to buy. If you're out and about and they want to buy, you can collect that money right then, right? You can do these steps I'm going to show you right then. So it will help you make money. When you make it easy for people to pay, people buy. I'm telling you this as a coach, as a consultant, and as a consumer, like I buy, right? And when people make it hard to buy, I leave, 
and find someone else who made it easier. Um, it's going to give a better client experience, right? People like don't want to meet you to pay you in cash. Um, and you can ask people to sell you and cash app you. But in my opinion, that that can lack professionalism. Now, I know some of you may not agree, but I just feel like when you're in the service industry, it's nice when you can just click on a link and just pay. It does the work for you, right? Just think of Amazon. What if every time you wanted something from Amazon, you had to cash out them the money, you're trying to figure out the taxes and you get what I'm saying? That's a whole different experience. But when you can just click add to cart, purchase, pay, and it's over and it's gonna come to you, that's a nicer experience on your end. Well, your clients are clients. They want a great experience, right? And then, um, and then also, by the way, it's going to let you not only charge them, but if it's a digital product um, or if you're selling like a consultation, I'm going to show you how, like once they pay, you can automatically send them to like the booking page to book the call or you can automatically direct them to the product. So if it was like a, a PDF or some type of, you know, just one link that they need to go to to access like a download, right? So it's just a better client experience because they're not waiting to get what they pay for. People do not like to wait. That's why so many people pay for Amazon Prime to get that two day, one day and same day shipping, right? Um, and then number four is you're more likely to take action on actually marketing, like getting visible, telling people about what you sell and pushing it to put it really, really simply. Um, we're not going to get deep into the psychology, but that's why the brain is there, because this does deal with how we think. But when we like subconsciously, when, when a part of us, not maybe actively thinking this, but when a part of us somewhere deep down feels like it's going to be hard or we're not sure how to do something, you ever notice how we can avoid it or we are procrastinate because we're not really clear, right? You may, you may just see it as like, oh, why am I taking so long to do this? Why am I procrastinating? It's because on some level, you're not clear on it. You're not clear on all the steps. You're not clear on how it's going to work. And so your body is trying to protect you by creating resistance, right? But when you get clear, when you have a really clear process on how to collect the money and, and deliver the product, then you will just naturally be more likely to tell people about it, to post it on the social and in different places to, you know, talk about it in person, which means again, reference number two, you will make more money because you're just more likely to take action. And I'm actually going to bring up my phone just because I, I like the full screen just for the graphics reason, but I want to make sure I don't miss any comments like one time when I taught the whole 30 minute, which this shouldn't be that long, but I taught the entire lesson and um, I just missed all the comments. Okay, looks like we are good, beautiful. So that is why I watch. And I want to just again remind you that I know sometimes it's easy to look at um, coaches, consultants, etc., mentors, and feel like um, experts, right? And feel like, well, yeah, you're telling me how to do this, but you know, I need I need a sales page and I need Kajabi and I need this and I need that because that's what so-and-so has or that's what so-and-so has. And can I just let you know, that's what they have now. But a lot of people did not start with all those things. Now it's okay if you want to, right? I'm just teaching you a easy and simple way to collect your money and deliver your product that doesn't cost you anything. And I am sharing this from personal experience. I have taught this to clients who are starting off, right? And I'm sharing from my own personal experience. When I first started um, doing my for-profit business in 2016, once again, I didn't have a website. I didn't have, I didn't even have PayPal set up at that time. I had like a square, right? Uh, where you could like, if you're in person, you could run their card with a little plug-in on your phone. And so um, one of my first biggest sales was like a $1,200 sale in a quarter of 2016. I was going to, I was designing a website for this company. And I remember I was so excited um, about the money. Well, you know what I wasn't excited about? 
the payment because I was driving across town <laughs> to pick up a check, right? I'm not really into driving and it was not fun and they paid an installment. So again, driving back and forth to pick up a check, which again, took up my time, my effort, right? Not really concerned about the gas so much, but just my time and effort. No need to do all that, right? When you can just use the process that I am going to show you. Okay, so literally you're just going to log into PayPal. And this is the free version of PayPal, by the way. I did pay briefly for the business version. Um, well, I mean, you'll open like the free PayPal account, um, but I just use the free business version. I don't actually use the paid version because I didn't see any actually benefits, right? And so this is the screen that you will see, right? And what you're going to click on is business tools. So after you click on business tools, it's going to take you to this screen and you're going to type in buttons, right? And this is a really neat feature um, that allows you to literally just charge anyone any, um, any amount, I think up to like 10K, right? So once you, um, click uh, type in buttons it's going to bring you to this screen the PayPal buttons and you're just going to click get started right and then after you click get started it's going to bring you here so these are different type of buttons right I do want to point out that if you're doing a payment plan you probably want to do like a subscription right you see the subscribe or automatic billing if you're doing like a monthly subscription where it's going to charge them every month you can use that if you're going to do where you need to charge them like four months and then you want to cancel it you can use either subscribe or automatic billing um, so again they're not like having to pay you each month for that service like why not just set it up up front make it easier on you and them right so for the sake of this um, example this training we're just going to do the buy now and assume it's a one-time fee okay but you can use this for payment plans if you're going to sell something that you're going to offer a payment plan so what you're going to do is you're going to type in the product name and the price. So for the sake of this example, I just put in budget consultation and let's say you're going to charge $225 for it, right? And that's all you need to fill out there. And then the next thing that I want you to see, like most of this doesn't um, apply to like online and service-based businesses. But the other thing I want to point out is really important is the return URL, right? You do not want to be the person who's selling, you know, $25 uh, budget guides. And every time someone buys, you have to go, go and email them what they bought right? First, they're having to wait on you. You don't want to make your clients wait when there's no need. And then two, again, it's taking up more of your time and effort when they only spend $20, $25, right? Um, and even if they had spent more, it's still taking up time of yours that it does not have to. All you have to do is, as I did on this next screen, just enter the link of uh, like, so if it's a PDF, like if it's an online, you know, PDF, you just add it to Google Drive, click share and get that shareable link and put it here. Even if it's a course that you're keeping really simple, I kid you not, uh, 2017 when I hosted my first retreat, I had never done it before. So I wanted to make sure it was done really well. So I bought a retreat program, cost about $800. Um, Good content. I kid you not, though, for $800, do you know what I received? I received a Google Drive link. And in that Google Drive link, it had four folders. And each folder had like two videos and a workbook. So for $800, she delivered her course on Google Drive. Now, do I recommend Google Drive for courses? It's not my favorite, again, client experience. But I'm just saying, like, if you want to make money and you don't want to spend a lot of money on software, it's an option, right? If it's just like one video, I don't think that's too bad. But if it's like, you know, six videos, um, like let's just go to Podia. They're only 35, I think it's $35 a month, right? Um, you know, balance, right? 
But if it's just like one video that you're wanting to share that they're buying, um, if it's a, a, a session they're buying with you, you can put the link to book a call on your calendar. If it's a guide, again, you can link it here. And this is just going to be really, really helpful um, for them uh, to get it immediately and just take the work off of your end, right? Um, and from there, you're going to click save and create. And I kid you not, you, like this process is so quick. And that's what I mean. Like if you're in, if you're meeting someone, cause even when you're new in business, you might like have a conversation and realize, Hey, I, I can offer this or I can tweak my, what I'm going to sell to match what this person is saying. If you're in like talking to that person, just be like, okay, yeah, uh, just give me a few minutes and I can set that up and send you the link and you can sign up right now. Like get the sale. Practice getting the sale right then. If you're on a call with someone, right, um, you can actually already have this made. Like if you're doing a discovery call or just, you know, having a chat to see if they do want to buy from you and they decide yes, you can already have this link set up and you can just copy it. You can have it saved really somewhere and you can just copy and send it over in real time in the Zoom chat. And then, you know, watch for it to come through and just let them know, okay, great, I received your payment. Um, you should receive your the link to book your call and just let me know, you know, uh, if you have any issues when you're setting that up, right? Like getting the payment right then is another conversation, but that is really important to practice and just getting comfortable with collecting the money right then. And like I said, it also allows you to um, deliver the digital product as well. Okay, just uh, doesn't look like we have any questions. Beautiful, just wanted to make sure. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to share is if you have a question, like if you have a question about something that deals with technology in business, let me know. I will be doing these every Tuesday, God's willing, except for holidays. <laughs> so every Tuesday, I will be bringing a new tech training as it pertains to starting a business, running a business, growing a business. So submit your questions, drop them below, whether you're watching this on YouTube or watching the live in my Facebook group. Um, and, um, and then I will answer it in a future video. Okay, thanks for watching everyone and have a beautiful day.